It was a hot, sunny summer morning. Little Timmy woke up, as he usually does, and let out a big yawn. As he heard the familiar music of the ice cream truck, he darted downstairs out the front door. He scanned his street left and right for the ice cream truck and noticed it at the very end of the street. As he stood there waiting, his neighbor Tom rode his bicycle by him and screamed, I don't eat the ice cream from that truck. It ain't good. Perplexed at why, Timmy yelled back, Oh, why isn't it good? But Tom was already too far to respond. He thought to himself, I always get the ice cream from that ice cream truck, and it's always good. Mr. Johnson is a good guy. As he was thinking which ice cream to buy, he realized he forgot the money, figuring that he had more than enough time to get the money because the truck was still a few blocks down, he ran into his house. As he darted back out the door, the ice cream truck was somehow already parked in front of his house, as if Mr. Johnson knew Timmy wanted ice cream that day. As he walked up the truck, he noticed something different. In the front of the truck was not Mr. Johnson. It was someone different. Timmy asked, Um, where's Mr. Johnson? To which the man responded with, He's sick today. I'm covering for him for the day. Timmy thought, That's weird. Mr. Johnson usually is never sick, and the last time he was, he didn't have anyone cover for him. He just didn't show up. As the man opened up the freezer, revealing all sorts of delicious ice cream, all the thoughts that had previously consumed Timmy disappeared. Timmy asked for his favorite ice cream. SpongeBob Raspberry Coconut Blast. The man quickly shot back. Oh, slow down there, son. I'm due to the job and unfamiliar with all the ice cream on the menu. Would you like to hop in the truck and pick it out yourself? Little Timmy, being all innocent and pure, and always willing to help people out, replied with, uh, I'm sure, um, I've been there before. First day on the job, not really knowing all the ins and outs of things. Happened to me when I was mowing along for my neighbor. I'll help you out. The truck's door slowly opened. Little Timmy stepped into the truck. The man, wide-eyed, staring at him as he made his way in. As little Timmy perused the ice cream in the freezer, his eyes suddenly lit up. This, this one, this is the one, my favorite, SpongeBob Raspberry Coconut Blast. The man, smiling gleefully, replied with, I scream, you scream, we all scream. Little Timmy handed him the money and hopped out the truck. Desperate to cool down from the hot weather, he quickly unwrapped the ice cream and started licking it like a dog. As he walked up to his door, he thought to himself, Why is the music of the ice cream truck still so loud? Has the man not driven away yet? He looked back and the truck was gone along with the music. Little Timmy thought to himself, What a weird day. He went into his house and slowly closed the door, careful not to awake his baby sister, who was still sleeping. As he turned around and looked into the mirror in front of him, little Timmy's ice cream dropped to the floor. Behind him was the ice cream man.